And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Braintopia. Braintopia is a game that tests your thinking, memory, and speed. I'm reading the back of the box here. Use your brain powers to compete with other players in eight different challenges, including deduction, picture matching, coordination, mazes, and more, including texture. You ever play a party game with some people and they're better at something than you? You play a memory game, someone's better at memory than you. You play a deduction game, Someone's better at deduction than you. Well, in this game, there's a lot of different things going on. So maybe someone's better at you in one category, but you might be able to beat them in another category. Let's take a look. In this game, you're trying to get an entire brain. This brain has four different colors. The colors don't really mean anything. For, a, for you to get a piece of the brain, you need to solve either a tactile challenge, which gives you one of the pieces of the brain, or any two challenges of the same type. So you're gonna shuffle a deck of cards and you're gonna look at the top of that deck of cards. You're gonna take some tactile cards and put them to the side, but the rest of the cards will be shuffled and you're gonna look at the top of the card it's going to tell you what kind of thing it is you will flip that card over and then the first person who will slam the card they can basically say what's on that card or how the puzzle solved and whoever does that is the winner so for example this one you just slam the card and you need to say everything that's on the card you need to completely cover it so here i would say one two four five six no it's one two three four six so i'm incorrect when you're incorrect you don't get to participate in the next challenge. So the first challenges here are memory. So we look at this and I go bird, duck, hippo. And I can't remember anymore. <laughs> I'm not very good at the memory ones. Here's another memory one with different items on it. Then there's maze. In this one, the first person who can figure out which one of the letters gets to the middle. So here I might say B and then we look. Is B the one in the middle? Yes, so there are different mazes that can be done. The next one is color. This is my favorite, actually. In this one, all these words are written in a different color. You need to find the word that's written in the color it is. This one is black. This one is red. All right, then the next one, and this is kind of the silly one, it's a coordination one. Here you see each hand. So your left hand is blue, your right hand is red. One, two, three, four, five. We turn this over, this, and this shows a one on your ear, so that means I need to touch it with my left hand, with the number one digit, my thumb, on that ear. And everyone needs to do that, and the first person to do it will win the card. And here's one where you have to touch it with two different things, you know, your first and fifth digits. Then we have duplicates. We'll flip the card over, and you need to name the only animal that appears on the card twice. So I look at this really quickly. I'm not doing too hot here. And I, uh, ooh, um, mm, mm, mm. Is, it a, is it the bear? Is it the gorilla? Uh, gorilla, that's pretty slow. I'm sure someone else beat me on that one. Let's try it again. Uh, oh, no, no, I thought I was gonna say duck, but the, it's just a different direction. Oh, I'm not very good at this. Ah. Oh, that's not slow. Oh, there it is, the sheep. Oh, that's a chimpanzee, <laughs> okay. And then there's frequency. On this one, you need to say whatever shows up the most. So on this one, it's car. On this one, it's the red ball. Then there is reasoning. This one here, you'll flip it over and you'll see some sort of puzzle piece, which one goes in there. In this case, it's C. Which puzzle piece fits into this puzzle? Again, it's, well, I was about to say C. It is C. C will fit in there. Or this one here, what's the Rubik Cube piece that will fit in here? And again, it's C. When you draw a tactile card, there actually is nothing on the other side. Instead, whoever did the previous card, uh, whoever completed the previous card is gonna try a tactile challenge. 
So each of these cards here, and it's hard to see because this is a video, but they have a, a different feel. So at the beginning of the game, everyone's going to feel them. All right. I feel the seeds here in the strawberry or the grains in the wood or this is a nice furry feeling on the moss or the basketball. And the other players are going to give you one of these and you have to feel it face down. Well, it feels like the moss. I'm going to go moss. No, it was peaches. Let's try another one. Oh, this one feels like the strawberry. Nope, the basketball. And that's how you play that. These are harder challenges. And if you get one, you get a whole piece of this. Otherwise, you have to get two of the same type to get a piece of the brain. And you just keep playing till someone wins. Now, I don't think Braintopia is going to set the world on fire. It is a fine game. I enjoy it. My biggest problem, I think, is the size of it. it there can be repetition after a while. Like, for example, I told you my favorite challenge was the color cards. But there's really only like eight or nine of those cards in the game. That's it. And I would prefer to see more of these. I wouldn't mind like if they make Breaktopia 2, 3, and 4 and you mix them all together. You know, you're, you're get what you pay for. You're getting a small game here. I'm just worried. Like even the texture cards. It's neat that there's those texture cards. And that's a cool thing. Which, by the way, those texture cards come down to guessing between the two or three things that feel alike. Like you noticed... I felt the moss, and then I felt the peach. And they feel pretty similar. Uh, but it, it, I, I don't mind it. I, I like the idea that this is full of different challenges. That's the, that's the feature of it, right? Like, I'm pretty good at doing mazes in my head. But as you can see, there's some challenges I'm pretty bad at. So I can compete on the ones that I'm better at. And I also like that if you get it wrong, maybe you make a mistake, you're out for the next challenge. So someone's not just going to slam it down and say, eh, it's A, B, or C, I'll go B, you know? Because two out of the three times, they'll be wrong, and that also takes them out of the next round. That's a good mechanism. Now, somebody who's really good at memory and things is going to dominate other people in this game. It's just going to happen. But with a group of people, this can be a lot of fun. I think it's limited fun. I don't think you're going to be playing this for a really long time. I don't think there's enough content in the box to justify that. But I think there's enough content in the box to justify the price. This is an interesting idea. I think it needs to have sequels and more, but if you want to pull something out and you play this with people, they'll like the different concepts included in the game. The artwork is good. It has almost a uh, early 1900s vibe to the artwork, from the objects to the pool balls um, to the, uh, you know, the, the guy who looks like one of those guys who's like, this is how you put your glasses on type thing. So that, that vibe mixed with the very different things this game's going to go over well with a group of people. The box here says two to six. I think six is fine. You're all around the table slapping the card. Someone might get cut out, but at the same time, everyone's involved. You keep going, you keep going, and then the game's over 15 minutes later. So, while, like I said, I think this could have been more, but as it is, it's still an entertaining little game that has some unique, different things to do each turn of the game. That's Braintopia. Dice Tower Judgment approved. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. It's just a toy! Boop. Boop.